Good evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ed Seo and I will be your guide this evening as we once more journey into the world, into the... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? How are you all doing this evening, you beautiful people? Well, I hope. Hail, Hodler! Hail, Nintendo! Welcome! Hail, I accidentally manifested a Nintendo Direct! Job, Nintendo. Now, if you could accidentally manifest as a Samus Aran in Breath of the Wild 2, I'd be much appreciated. But anyway, with uh, hopefully you are both having a brilliant day. Right, and yes, to those of you who couldn't join us last time, we got ourselves some awesome weapons. We defeated the Scout Guardian in the major test of strength. We found some more Karuk seats, and we found a shrine. And we got beaten up. And we found a dragon that we shot in the face and then later shot it again to get a scale, which we missed, because enemies are mean. Enemies are mean. You also manifest a bunch of highly unrealistic expectations. Me? Unrealistic? Never. No, never. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. Segway. Straight into the beginning of this journey. Come, join me as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of the Legend of Zelda. Breath of the wild. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set, and as always, the switch still needs to be turned on, so let's go! Shall we? Oh! I pressed the... Oh! Was that the right... That was the button! Aha! That did a thing! I did a thing, chat! A thing, indeed. Um... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um... None of them being Tesco, though. Okay! Go Tesco! Hashtag not sponsored. Um, oh. Might have to lose this jacket as well. It's quite I'm quite warm this evening. NCO is a Sainsbury's man anyway. Technically I go to Morrison's because that's the local supermarket and I'm lazy. Well, it's an inside joke on Blue's server. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean Blue is the queen of chaos, we know this. For those of you who've never met Blue, she's the Queen of Chaos. In fact, whenever you see Blue, you should say, Hail, Queen of Chaos! I'm sure she would deeply appreciate it. Anyway, what were we doing? Oh yes, we were looking for these stupid things. Uh, right, so... What's the plan here? We'll go for that one, because we're close-ish to it. Then we will glide down and get that one. Then we'll glide down and get that one. Then we are going to... Hmm. Um. Hmm. No, I've changed my mind. What we... Hail, Spud! Um... Now what we might do is we will go all the way up the top of this mountain, get the seed up there, and excuse me, um, go all the way down the mountain and get the seed not up there. Uh, this I uh, blasted Karok seed. Who at Nintendo thought 900 was a good number? I, I can kind of see the logic in it because they basically made it so. No matter what you do, you have an easy time getting everything fully, getting your inventory fully unlocked, but. What about us poor Muppets who want 100%? What about us, Nintendo? Will we see 420 deaths, I wonder? Um, I'd, I'd say probably not, but given it's me, <laughs> it is entirely possible we will reach that before we're even halfway through the game. I mean, we're nearly at 100 deaths, and most of them were me just fighting guardians or falling off the roof of the Temple of Time. So, eh, it's entirely possible. They didn't take, Nintendo said they didn't expect people to catch them all. And go collect them all, even. I, I mean, this is the same company that released Pokemon. You, 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 you see, just, just the Nintendo, you have bred a generation of people who want to, who need to catch them all. Are you really that surprised? Uh, 
I love how I'm talking to Nintendo like they're actually watching the stream, when in actual fact I can think of a billion other things that they could be doing, or will be doing, than watching some strange British chap running around collecting 999 seeds. Oh, no, sorry, 900 seeds! That was close. Good catch, Link. You a smart boy. Right, uh, this way. No, actually, this way. Imagine if they just left it 999. Most things do. I mean, you remember Yakuza 0, where we ended up with 900, what was 9 trillion, 999 million, 999,999 yen. So, yeah. Hello. Oh, this way. Oh, the fox. The old fox of the mountain. I'm going to need to get myself some more rose at some point. Blimey. After all the ones I bought, I, I'm running out. Admittedly, I have shot a lot of animals. And a few bacoblins. Which we really need to stop doing right now. Um, there we go. Sledgehammer. Mine, mine, mine. Bother. Come on. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, no, you don't, Link. When will you buy be a Hyrule trillionaire? Um, <laughs> I was lucky. If I could make 10 billion in the game, never mind, 999 trillion, 999 million, 999,999. Oh, sorry, no, I got that wrong. 999 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999. There we go. I forgot the billion. Hello. Um. <laughs> Poor Nintendo got hit by the timeout hammer. Well, in fairness, congratulations, it's been a lot. I didn't think anyone was actually ever going to hit that level of spammage in the chat. So, well done. You get a gold star, my dear. Don't worry, the bot still loves you. <laughs> he is nice like that. And in no way inclined to test random test subjects to see how they will fur by burning their companion cubes. Not that not, not that she'd give you a companion cube in the first place. That'd, that'd just be silly. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Well done. I found you. Congratulations. Yay me. Bugger off. Right. Um. The peak of awakening. Right, uh, let's see now. Where is the peak of awakening? Um, we are north of Kakaraku. Oh, peak of awakening. Sorry, I'm looking at the interactive map. I don't know if you can actually. See. I wonder if there's a link I can send out to say show what my where I am on the map. Actually, just as a sanity check. Hopefully, refreshing. I'm still logged in and not going to wipe what I've done because I will be a sad Ezio if it does. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, you haven't unlocked half the map yet, have you? Uh... No, not even close. <laughs> oh, we're going to be in this part of the map for a very long time, my friends. I can assure you of that. Um... Right, so from here, I'm going to glide my way down to there, then down to there, then down to there, then we are going to cross over to there and get that leaf, uh, that seed, 
Then we are going to warp our way up to the Spring of Wisdom, where we will then glide down and do that and then that, and we will warp back and do that and that, and then we can just cry because there's still stupid amounts of things we need to do. The desert will feature in episode 819. I'm pretty sure yes. Also, hail Chris. Welcome. Long time I say. Um, at least in chat. Uh, right, where are we going? The map. The map would be the useful thing. Yes, it would be. Um, what did I say we were doing? Oh, yeah, we were going to go in this direction. Yes. How are we doing? Apart from questioning my sanity over the course of trying to collect 900 of these stupid little seed creatures. Um, well, hopefully all is well in your world as well, mate. Gliding, 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 gliding. Oh, there's a tower over there. We're not going to that tower over there. Not that. I've already got a stupid amount of seeds to collect in this area. I'm not unlocking anywhere else. Go away, game. Go away. There's that meadow as well in the background. Ooh. Oh, I'm nearly out of stamina. Oh, nah. bugger, I could have got that cricket. I've been getting a headache trying to set up a website in Google Cloud and rerouting the external domain to it. Fun! Uh... This is a puzzle, right? Giant circle of rocks. So I'm guessing this one goes over here. Um, why are you trying to go through that convoluted system? I would have thought going through something like Squarespace would have been a bit easier. Um, so hopefully you're having an easier time of it than I am with servers at work. So there we go. Um... Oh, right, since web app and cloud computing are two final modules along with final side project. Ah, of course, right, yes. That makes sense. Uh, come on, Link. Push the boulder. Channel your inner atlas. We go and kidnap this cricket. Mine. Aha. How's the HDD drive in the server going? Oh, the one at work. Uh, still failing, still dying. It's not as bad as it seems. Because of the uh, uh, warning, I'm about to be all technical and geeky. So uh, the way I've configured the NAS servers at work is they are running in a RAID 5 with four disks, three main drives, and a hotspur. So the idea is that if one of the main drives fails, the hotspur kicks in, rebuilds the array, and the, all the data is fine. The problem is that if another drive fails while... The, while it's only got three drives and no hotspur, we lose our data. So, I've put in an order for uh, some amount of money to order in a bunch of cold spurs, which are discs that you stick on a shelf, and then if you get a dead drive, you just take it off the shelf, bang it into the server, it spins up, and all's happy and ends well. They should arrive tomorrow, all being well. I've also got uh, managed to get the backup systems working as well, after banging my head into a wall for four days because I've gone, the joy of Linux is that there is a lot of stuff that's documented. There is also a lot of stuff that isn't documented. And trying to find some of the fine tuning aspects of something like a backup system has been a pain in the backside, but it's all working now. It just, the servers take about two days to actually back up. So I have to do it on a weekly rotation. So yes, there's that. And then there's the joy of the robots, etc., etc., etc. Um, I have to, give a presentation outlining my progress and I thought it better than screenshots than an actual demo of the website connected to the back end of the database. That would indeed earn you some brownie points. Yes, good idea. Good thinking, sir. Make it stand out. I can guarantee a lot of students will just go for submitting the screenshots. Some will just badly crop them from Google Images, and some won't even bother at all. They'll just have a piece of paper saying, this is presentation, goodbye. Uh, or I forgot my presentation. I'm not cynical, by the way. Not in the slightest. No, not me. Um, 
There we go. We've got that seed. Oh, that's not the We get that. Oh, I've accidentally picked up that seed. Oh, oh no. Right. Um, where's the next one then? This wasn't to the plan, but hey ho, we will make it work. Uh, uh, this way. Yes. So close to finishing my degree, I can almost taste the BSC in my name. Yes. Do it. Do it and get that masterful uh, bachelor's of bacheloriness. Yes. I'm close to getting the end of my master's as well. End of August, it'll all be over and I can forget the fact that I've ever been a student again. Ah, glorious, glorious days. That's a boulder on the edge of a cliff. Is that going to be an enemy, encamp an enemy encampment or is that going to be a thing where I have to roll it into a golf hole again? Um. Right. What are we doing here? Oh, it's it it says roll the bowler into the hole. We can do that. There we go. Oh, run fox! Oh, oh, poor fox. <laughs> oh well, your meat shall be my supper. Um, <clears throat> I like being a student. Free Photoshop. Our students don't get free photo. Well, they get free Photoshop in the terms of it's in the classrooms. F Fox. F Fox indeed. Rest well, Fox. You will be deeply missed as we turn you into a meal to save our life at some point. Um, Delete stamp. Cool. Go and click complete. Marvelous. Next. We cross this crevasse thing to the Hillian Highlands. I mean, in fairness, yeah, I've got free Photoshop in the form of the computers at work, but I've also got Photoshop on my PC here with the Creative Cloud license because I use it for making the thumbnails for the YouTube to, uh, YouTube archive. Oh dear, this might have been a mistake. Um, oh, actually, no, that kind of worked out in our favour. Bizarre, go us. Um, the fox survived! Hello, fox. How did you get there? I thought I killed you. Uh, oh. No. What's our weakest weapon? Apart from the torch, which is a stupid idea. Uh, okay, sword it is. And I'm looking at doing a master's. Yeah, fair enough. Any idea what you're going to do the Masters in? I have I mean, cybersecurity has been quite entertaining for me. Though, admittedly, trying to do a Masters while also working has been rather an interesting experience, and if I wasn't working in the same department, I'm not entirely sure how I would have managed it. In fairness, if I wasn't working in the department I'm working in at the minute, I wouldn't have done my Masters anyway, because I only did it because a free Masters was dangled in front of me. Do you want you to do your masters? We'll pay for it. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I'll go for it. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with my masters at the end of it, but hey oh, you never know what the future holds. Honestly, computer forensics, I think it'd be interesting. It is rather interesting. If you want to have a play around with it, look up um Autopsy, which is the main computer forensic software used by law enforcement in the States. If you want the EU, well, the EU variant, EU UK one is N case, but that has quite a hefty license attached to it. If you want to play around with N case, you can always try and go into one of the Edge Hill, uh, well, uh, one of the university open days. Well, I've just spilled the beans, haven't I? But yeah. If you go to the. Uh, yes. I think you get the gist anyway. Um. Oh, I'm really close to Kakaraku, actually. Uh, I'm also heading in the wrong direction. Fourth time's the chat. Oh. This way. Ish. Right, it's somewhere over here. 
You see, computer forensics at Bachelors annoyed me because it was mostly UK computing law, and then it just was boring. It was okay. It was a bit better at Bachelor at Masters level. Did a forensic investigation into um, degree theft. No! 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 Oh wait, have we got a picture of these guys yet? I think I have, but I don't think I've got a decent one. Yeah, I'll do. Save. Yeah, no! No, not fighting him. We're not going to get anything spectacular from him, and I really don't want to lose all my weapons again. So, yeah! No, ignoring big smashy creature thing. I'm also going to mark it on the map, I think. Looking NCA crime, cybercrime unit. Fair enough. Fair enough. When I get my Masters or BSc. I mean, I if I'm perfectly honest... Cyber forensic, uh, computer forensics is something that it, I wouldn't recommend it at a, a university level. It's some if you want to get into being a computer forensic, working in computer forensics, go join the police force. Go through on-the-job training. Learn the skills from actually doing them rather than doing the academic route because it, it loses a lot in translation. Box again. That's one of the things I figured out when I was doing it at my master's level is that it's just a lot. There's a lot of theoretical behind it, but if you wanted to go and do it as a job, it's something that you really just have to go out and do. <laughs> it's like working with servers and networks. I mean, you can learn a lot in the university at university level, but I've learned I learned a hell of a lot more actually on the job than anything else. I mean, when I left college, when I finished after my bachelor's, I started work as my as a first line tech, and I shadowed the network admin for the department for the company for a good three months. Brilliant chap. His name was Randika, and yeah, that's where I learned my trade. And then several years, a few years later, I got myself ranked up to network to a network tech, and then moved off to the university where I where I work, and. I, I basically built our machine learning infrastructure by myself. And I can't think of much that I did at my bachelor's level that I would have that applied to it, if I'm perfectly honest. Some stuff like firewalls and ECP, IP, blah, 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 blah. But other than that, mm, didn't really do that much. Um, I make university sound like such a spectacular place, don't I? <laughs> Paroxy, you complete the rock circle. There we go. Um, I prefer it more in case of have an idea what I'm going into before arriving. Like, hello, yes, IPC detective, yes. I mean, um, yeah, I mean that's fair enough. I mean, if you're going down the cyber, con if you're doing cybersecurity route, once again, using my own experience as a guide, I've done computer forensics, uh, computing forensics, pen testing, which was my favourite module because it was basically hacking around with Linux and it was networks and I ended up uh, ended up doing pretty well if I'm if I'm allowed to be a bit conceited about it would it be conceited a bit proud maybe a bit proud but yeah I did fairly well at computing uh, at the pen testing did emerging technologies not entirely just so yeah uh, what else have I done information security research methodology at the minute which is just academic stuff Biometrics as well. We're doing cloud networking in the labs with Mark from college soon, I believe. Oh, are you using the Cisco kit? Sorry, I, I'm, I'm going down memory lane at this point. You know who I mean. I, I know who you mean, mate. Hopefully you get to use the Cisco kit, though it might be a bit out of date now. Um... TV. The boss right now. Oh! 
Cool. Right. Next ones are this way. Do 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 there we go. Yeah, Kaz, I am not. I'm surprised we've not ran into him, actually. No! No! No, 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 no. I will not fight you, goats. I shall go here instead. Yeah, we're pretty much on track for it. There we go, problem solved. Right, pretty sure this is going to be a Korok seed. Rolly, 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 dunk. There we go. But yeah, cloud networking is interesting. Um, da -da -da -da, I think for emerging tech, for my emerging technologies module, I wrote a paper about oh process management in a cloud hybrid environment. That was riveting stuff. Um, right. On. It is. That's rolling the boulder. Yes, it is. Push boulder into hold. Well, I push boulder and gravity did the rest. Ooh. Or am I looking? Oh, hold on. Yes. Oh, maybe. Question mark? Sounds very exciting, yes. It, it was deeply deep. Ah, oh, crap. I deleted the wrong stamp. Um... Okay, it's here. I hope. I'm not going to have a fun time otherwise. Sounds very exciting. I mean, yeah. I mean, for... What was it? For... What did I do for my computer forensics? Computer forensics was... My, my final paper on that module. A critical analysis of... No, what was it? A critical analysis of network forensics in... Oh, hold on. The critical analysis of network forensics in the world of cloud computing, or something along those lines. There we go. <laughs> you found me! Ha <laughs> ha! I have a deep voice for the Koroks. There we go, have your rock back. There we go. Delete stamp. Right, okay, so we've got that one over yonder now. Which we shall wander over to. We have to climb up another hill, don't we? Well, mountain. Now, can we just borrow the Master Chief's grapple shot? I know I've mentioned it before, but seriously, that made traversing Halo Infinite so much more fun. <laughs> I mean, this is fun, to a degree, but... Climbing takes forever. I mean, at least it helps us find a bunch of rare ores and stuff, which we can later sell, but still. Uh, oh. Here go! Uh, hello? Yield. Where you go? Did, did, did I get the thing? I'm gonna conclude I got the thing. Ooh, more geos. Or mineral or whatever. Oh, um. That works. Ah, no! Oh. Got it. I'm gonna deeply regret this in a minute, but 
I mean, we can sell these for rupees, which in fairness are very useful. Sounds very exciting. Uh, oh, sorry, I just read that. Uh, I hope for the second Breath of the Wild has a hookshot of some kind. It would be nice. I mean, if we had Rivali's Gale, we would have a much easier time of this, but that would mean we'd have to go and defeat one of the Phantom Ganons. And, I mean, most people here saw me fighting the major test of strength and the moderate test of strength. I don't think we stand a chance at the moment. At least not until we've got a few more shrines and some more hearts. And uh, enough animals and creatures to probably make our attack strength really high, or defense really high, I haven't decided which yet. I mean, in fairness, the first one we're going after is going to be Mitha, because it's Mitha, and who doesn't like Mitha? If you don't like Mitha, then that is perfectly fair and valid, but I will judge you silently for it. Uh, it's this way. Yeah, there's a moblin. That's fun. Not. Yeah, or is it going to... Oh, no, 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 it's raining. Oh, son of a dingus. Thanks, game. Where are we, anyway? That's mine. These are mine. This is mine. These are now mine. Hello, you're a slime. Well, I shall be in about 20 minutes once I get home and hop on my PC. Okay, fair enough. See you when I see you, Hoodlum. There is a cabin. Oh, I think I know where we are. Um. Oh, I can do math now. Cool. Right. Ah, random travelly person. A lot of apples. Um. Do I have an axe? No, we don't really. Well, I don't want to burn through any of my weapons. So, in the interest of, well, not, we're gonna do this. Mine! Got it. Which is going to blow the tree up. There we go. Problem solved. Mine, 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 mine. Mine, mine, mine. mine. And, um... Yeah, okay. Bonk. Hmm. They're pretty resilient for wasps or bees, bad uh, bees, even. Um, oh, well, while we're here, we might as well do some cooking, eh? Yeah, bud. Right, um... So, the rule of whatever it is in this game is... We use two powerful... I tell lizard. Boosting elixir. We use... Two... Three good quality ingredients and two lesser ingredients. So we hold the three crickets and we use two cobbling teeth, which should in theory make us a decent stamina potion. Eh, it's a fairly decent stamina potion. Okay. Lunch rooms. Probably use them for something. Plus a Hillian shroom. Oh, we've got two Stamellas. 
What if we hold two Stamellas and a normal Hillian Shroom? Uh, eh, three hearts and some stuff. That's a low level heal. That's quite all right. What if we go with three Iron Shrooms? And a piece of meat. Two defense? Okay. So what if we up the iron shrooms to four iron shrooms and a piece of meat? There we go. Tough meat and mushroom skewer. Four iron shrooms, a piece of meat. <clears throat> Ooh, that gives us five hearts as well. Right, so if we go with... We've got a bunch of sun shrooms, haven't we? Four of those, and... Uh... Acorn? What do we get then? Do we get a nutty mushroom skewer? It keeps us warm for... a while? Okay, ten minutes, medium cold resistance. So, what if we do... Hold, 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 four of those, and a piece of meat. There. Okay, so it just gives us more hearts. Right, so we've got a Chilfrin Trout, a Voltile Trout, and a Stout. Well, I'm going to leave those until we've got a few more. We've got a Hyrule Bass, a bunch of milk, some butter, some honey, some eggs. What? Okay. What if we hold some butter, hold some honey, hold a couple of eggs, and some milk? Energizing omelet. Okay, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad in the slightest. What if we? Oh, what's that? Uh, provide a stamina recovery effect. Okay, so what if we hold two honey, a single egg, a single milk, and a single butter? There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Right, so that refills everything and does quite a good thing. Um, right, what if we have some milk, a couple of... an egg and some butter? Do we get a meat omelette? No, we just get a meat skewer. That's lame. Okay, then. Um, oh, no, we don't want to use the rush rooms because we need a stupid amount of those at some point. Um, we don't want to use the fireflies yet because they're rather important. But we can experiment with four hot-footed frogs and some moblin guts. Okay, we get a max hasty elixir. Uh, okay, what if we hold four of those and Lionel Horn? No, I'm not going to risk the Lionel Horn. That could probably be used for something. Um, How about some Bacoblin Guts then? Okay, max stamina recovery. Not bad, not bad. What if we go with 
Two, three restless crickets. A cobbling gut and a fang. 